I think the idea of, of Krav Maga or Israeli martial arts and, and, and an association with the IDF, Israeli Defense Forces, um, you know, on the surface, I think it's it's a it, it sounds cool and it's probably a great marketing tool and those kinds of things. But from our perspective, the reality is it has very little relevance to the average American 35 year old accountant or, you know, 40 year old stay at home dad or whatever it is. Um, what, what, what goes on in the IDF or, or really in, in most militaries um, has little relevance to the civilians. You know, it's uh, their training time is very limited. If they're going hand to hand, generally a lot of things have gone wrong. Um, normally they're going into a situation where they know there's going to be a problem. They have some intelligence behind it. So they've been able to kind of analyze the situation. Um, they have the best weaponry. They have the best backup. They have um, things at their disposal that just aren't available to the average person trying to get from their office through a parking garage into their their cars and then home safely. Um, so I don't I don't want to discount what goes on in militaries, but I I, I think at, at some point we're talking about you know football and basketball. They, yeah, they both have a ball in them, but that's about where the the comparisons end.